If you're new to my channel, I'm Lori. Welcome to Lori's Book Trials. And as you can tell by the title, I read the selection series this week. Kayla from Books and Lala is doing a read along or a read along. And yeah. So I decided to do it as well. So selection is the first one. Elite is the second one. And the one is the third one. I gave the elite, I mean, not the elite, sorry. I gave the selection a 4.5. On Goodreads, I gave it a 4. I think I gave the elite three and a half. Let me make sure. If I can get it, yes. The Elite, I gave three and a half, but on Goodreads, I gave it a three. And the one, I gave a, poor, a 4.75, and on Goodreads, I gave it a five. Now, <laughs> now America, she is one of the 30, is it 36, something like that, 35, 36 women or something like the girls, whatever you want to say from different, um, like, tears or whatever you want to call it, cast or whatever you want to say, that is trying to marry the prince, Maxim. Um, but she doesn't really want to be there. She really wants to be with this guy, Aspen, but he's lower class than she is, which is a no-no. So... In the first book, he does, Aspen does something that makes her decide that she's going to um, sign, sign up to become one of the women. That's what happened in the first one, basically, is her trying to decide if she really wants to be there or not. And what she's going to do about Aspen. And of course, there's these other girls. I'm just going to talk about the main girls. So there's going to be spoilers, so don't watch. When I'm getting ready to go into spoilers, don't watch if you haven't read this book and you plan on reading the series. But yeah, um... But yeah, um, so the first book is about her deciding if she's going to stay, like I said. And I really like the books. There's some things in this one that real that America does that really pees me off, and that's why it got to low rating compared to the other ones. She just does so many stupid things, and I'll talk about that in the spoiler section. This one, she did a few stupid things, but not as bad as in this one. There was one thing that she did that I think she should have not done and she should have told maximum about this certain thing a lot you know on her own you know what i mean like she should have told him right away what was this one thing but of course you know how people are they don't do it and that's the only reason why this one was a 4.75 why i didn't give it a full five in my review um, you know, in my rank here, but I rounded up to five on Goodreads. Because what I do is, I think I told you guys already, but what I do is if if I give it a, a four and a half, sometimes if I think it's close to being a five, then I would um, still give it a five on Goodreads. But if I give it a four and a half, but it's more of a, closer to a 4.25 or lower then I would give it a 4 on Goodreads. Something like that. So, But yeah, this is, that's basically what this is about. Her deciding if she wants to be even a, one of the girls. You know. So that's all I can really tell you without going into spoilers. Because a lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about is going to be stuff that's spoilery. I will say I do not like Maxon's dad at all. At all. The king, do not like him. 
And I also say I do not like uh, America's brother, Koto. I think his name is Koto or something like that. It's K-O-T-A. Did not like him either. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay. So, like I said, if you plan on reading this series and you haven't yet, then don't watch anymore. But if you like, I will say, if you like The Bachelor or Bachelorette, you should like these books because, yeah, it's fun like The Bachelor or Bachelorette. It's like a guilty pleasure. So, that's all I'm going to say without spoiling. So, bye, non-spoily people. Come back after you read the books and watch my review. All right. So, like I was saying, in this one, America is trying to decide if she wants to stay in the competition or not. And then she does some stupid things in this one, but it didn't drive me as bad as crazy. The only reason why I didn't give this one like a higher five, I mean, you know, like a, the five on Goodreads and only gave it a four on Goodreads it was just because it was slow at times. And that's really it. It was just slow and I didn't, it took me, even though each of these, they only take, took me a full day to read. This one, I felt like it took, like it actually felt like it took the whole day. While these two didn't feel like it took the whole day. So in this one though, there's, um, I think at the end, there's like, how many girls are left? 13 or something? Can't remember how many are left. I can't remember how many there's left. But anyways, some of the girls that are, um, that are in this, that she meets along the way are Marley, Chelsea, Chelsea, I mean, Chris, 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 I think, K-R-I-S-S. Natalie and Elise. Those are the really important ones. Because, spoiler alert, of course, they stay in, they stay the longest. But yeah, this, I liked. I really loved Maxim. The queen, I'm not sure about. I don't know how I feel about the queen. She seemed like she really liked, um, that she really liked America. Of course, the king can't stand her. But that's because she doesn't, like, you know, fall in line like, you know, all the other girls. Um, either they, I mean, they're, like, really quiet and they don't, like, cause trouble and things. And America does. She stands up for herself. She has a backbone. The only thing bad about America is that she don't know when to, like, back, back down. And, yeah, and she doesn't know how to trust Maxim. This one, she drives me so crazy in this one. So, what happens is, Aspen is the one that I was telling you about that, of course, that she really wants to be with at first. She, um, so he winds up coming in and being one of the guards. And... Maxon doesn't know that he's one of the guards. Yeah. Um, and which one? She just gets... She just says so many stupid things that she doesn't trust Maxim. She trusts everybody else. Aspen, she trusts everybody else, you know? Like, everybody but Maxon. She's jealous all the time. But yet, she's all wishy-washy. Like, oh, I want to be with... You know, Aspen. No, I want to be with Maxim. No, I want to be with Aspen. And then she'll say, like, well, then maybe you should, you know, be with Cress. Chris, K-R-I-S-S. -S, because she's the one that, um, like, was really the only competition that, that America had. I mean, these other girls were so-so, but not like, um, Chris. And, yeah, so she was like, you should be with her then. Blah, 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 and all this crap. And, yeah. And then she does something so stupid in this book. I'm not going to tell you. 
So I'm not going to go into a lot of spoilers. But yeah, she has so many stupid things in this book. Then, towards the end, the king is going to send her home. Maxim is like, this should be my, ch this is my choice. She's going to stay. And then he, um, we find out that his father beats him. And we find this out because there's these northern and southerners, southerns, that are trying to break into the palace all the time. Now the um, southerns are the ones that are really, really bad. The northern rebel, they just want certain things. But they don't really want anybody hurt. I don't I don't think they mention who the um, any names of the southerners, but there's a couple of northern rebels that we learn by name. There's a Georgia and there's an August. Because um there's this one part, I can't remember if it's in this book or if it's the third book. No, it's, it has to be the second book, I think. It could be the third one, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's one of them um they start chasing after them and they're outside and she gets lost or she gets stuck outside while everybody else is in the palace and she's running and stuff and she's hiding and that's how she first comes across Augusta or August and Georgia. Yeah. So then we come to find out that they want maximum to basically not have the cast anymore and they want him of course to be king and they want him to pick america but they said if he did not pick america there was another girl that they would want him to um pick i don't know if they ever i don't remember them ever saying who the other girl was but yeah so, but she has a lot of stupid things in here. And that's why I could not stand her in this one as much. Now, she does have some lady maids. Lady in waiting. Lady maids. I don't know what you call them. They're Anna. There's Mary. And there's Lucy. My favorite was probably Lucy. And then out of the girls, there's Marley, Chelsea. Out of Marley, Chelsea, Cress. Or Chris and Ellis, Elise. And then there's a Natalie too, but she's not one of the final four. But anyways, uh, them, oh, Marley isn't one of the final four. Wait a minute. I think uh, Natalie is one of the final four. I can't remember. No. Yeah, I think so. I think Mar uh, Natalie's one of them, but I'm not positive, so don't get, don't quote me on that. But Marley... In this book, and that's one of the reasons why America does a lot of correct, stupid things she does, is we find out that Marley was involved with one of the other guards, I think he was, and her and him um, get flogged, and she gets mad, mad at Maxim because that's what he gave as their punishment, because he had to, you know, pass down the punishment, but... The only other choice they would have had was to be killed. And he wasn't going to kill him, so he had no choice but to flag him, flog him. And she gets all crazy, and she, like, tries to stop it, and she goes, like, all this other stuff. But anyways, so you think that Marley's out of the picture, but really, she, um, sweetheart that Maxim is, he, um, like, snuck them back in and made them look like different people, I guess, kind of. And made them change their names a little. And yeah. So he kept them there. The guy and Marley. Which I thought was really sweet. And then. Um, but yeah. So all this stuff is going on. And yeah. Like I said. The king cannot stand. Cannot stand. America. So in the last book. She decides at the end of um, 
a leap that she's going to stay. So the king, like I said, was going to make her go home. Uh, Maxim taught the king into letting her stay. And yeah, so that's what's going on there. Now this one, after she decides that she's going to make let him stay, I mean that she was going to stay, she's still jealous all the time. Now I can understand being a little jealous because this is crazy, you know? And like in the on the show Bachelor, Bachelor, right? You know how the people get. They get all crazy, especially the last few. So understand that. But this one, like I said, wasn't as bad. The worst thing that she did in this one was that she never told Maxim that that Aspen was the one that was her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend, I should say. Because she did tell him about an ex, but she didn't say who he was and stuff. So, you know, he has this guard and stuff like that. So, yeah, he has him as a guard, you know. And I didn't like Aspen at first, but in this book, he stepped up big time. Like, he, like, saved their lives so many times. Maxims, Americas, yeah. So, I really, really started liking um, Aspen in here. But I'm so glad that she wound up getting with um, Maxim. But it took a while. And it was like towards the end of the book before they got together. Because he first, so what happens is her um, dad winds up having, I think, a heart attack and dying. And um, when, um, so she goes home. When she comes back. Not right away, but Maxim finds out that Aspen and her, that Aspen was the guy. You know, her boyfriend, her ex. And, of course, he's really pissed off. He decides that he's going to pick Chris. Chris, how do you say her name is? And, yeah. And then something happens and the northerners, not, not, not the northerners, the southerners break in. And... They kill a whole, like, right, they kill Chelsea right away. I think they shot her in her head, the back of her head. So she died right away. I don't know what they said happened to, I think, I know Chris was okay, because I know she was at the wedding at the end. I know the king and the queen both were murdered during the attack. Um, Aspen, I think, yeah, it was his leg got messed up, and he'd have to use a cane for the rest of his life. And, of course, um, uh, Maxim almost dies. This is a quote that he says when when um, he's laying there. He says, Break my heart, break it a thousand times if you like. It was only ever yours to break anyway. And then he makes um, Aspen take her away. And hides her. And then afterwards, that's when we find out when they come back to get her, that's when we find out about the king and queen being killed and and um, Aspen getting hurt and, you know, and that Maxim survived and now he's the king. And, yeah, so they get married. We also found out in this book that um, America's dad was a northerner. He was a northern rebel. So, yeah. Very interesting book. I thought it was really fun. Uh, I don't think it's my favorite series ever, but it was a it was good time. Like, really, really good time. And like I said, each of these only took me a day to read. This one was like the, this one and the, um, this one, because even though it was my least favorite, it's, it like kept me going because I was so pissed off at times. Does that make sense? Yeah. But I was very happy that Aspen got a happy ending. Because like I said, I didn't like him at first, but then I really started to like him at the end. So like I said, he saved them both so many times. He gets with somebody at the end, and I liked who he got with. So, But I know this is very rumbly. You guys know me. I'm not very good at doing reviews. And that was my first review in a long time. I'm going to try to start reading more, um, I mean, doing more reviews. 
But yeah, if you guys stayed uh, stayed around this long, thank you guys very much. I love you guys all as a friend. I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say, that you guys understood, you know, just that you guys understood it, and that you guys liked this review. Let me know if you've read this, this series before and what you thought of them. Yeah, I'm just curious what you guys think of the series, if you've read them. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. This will probably be up tomorrow. So, so I hope you have a great Saturday and Sunday. And, yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Remember, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. I hope you guys are enjoying the books you guys are reading. And remember, if you're not feeling the book, put it down. Read something else. You can always come back to the book later if you feel like it. And try again or just get rid of it. Be happy with the book that you're reading. Don't force yourself to read something that's making you miserable. Because right now you need books that are going to keep you happy. And that's going to keep you wanting to keep reading. But yes, I hope you guys, like I said, have a great day. Great weekend. And I love you guys all as friends. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Lori out.